Fuji Shrine is Tokyo's oldest shrine. This is it right behind me. It's always really busy. There's a nice pagoda to see nearby and you can get your fortune right here. If you get a good fortune, you're supposed to keep it. If you get a bad one, you're supposed to tie it up because it comes on a little piece of paper. And I get a stick. And my stick has number four on it. So I get a fortune from number four. Although I hope to succeed in life, gods will not furnish me with income. I thought it was supposed to be good. Good for the company, Kasha. You can also say a prayer. You line up here, throw some coins in there, and usually you clap after that. Sensoji gets a lot of Japanese people visiting it too, so it doesn't feel super touristy. And usually, if there's a bigger occasion or in the summer, you'll see people in kimonos or yukatas. On the way to the temple, take a walk down Nakamisadori where you can eat soft cream ice cream, uh, watch couples in kimonos take photos with their mochi, buy outfits that promise strength, purchase katanas, and a ton of stereotypical Japanese souvenirs. Oh, and make sure to taste test all the little sweets along the way. It's basically your one-stop souvenir shopping in Japan. If you come here in the evening, all of the metal doors that close the shops here are painted like in different interesting ways. So it's like walking through a graffiti art gallery, except it's all kind of traditional Japanese stuff. The second floor of this building offers a good spot to charge your cell phone, get some free Wi-Fi, and people watch in the meantime. I once spent two hours here, people watching. Take a walk along the streets around the temple. Asakusa used to be the old center of Tokyo. It's not the case anymore. It's now Shibuya or Shinjuku. But this used to be the center of Tokyo. You can really feel that the streets here are different. They're smaller. The restaurants are different. The shops are different. There are trades here that you don't necessarily see back in Shibuya. The people are different. It's generally an older population. Um, so it's a great place to just walk around and take it all in. If you walk about a mile from uh, Sensoji Temple, you'll end up in an area called Kappabashi, which is a themed district full of shops that sell kitchen utensils and basically everything you need if you run a restaurant or have a kitchen at home. For tourists, it's particularly funny because there's a lot of shops selling food replicas and you can even make your own for food replicas here. It's this thing that Japan is famous for, that in all the windows of restaurants you have plastic things instead of pictures, I guess. You have plastic foods in Japan. The food looks super realistic and I made my own ones. I made a lettuce and a tempura out of wax. Chris, I got you a pasta. Chris, I got you a hot dog. I got you a strawberry. Chris, ah! Chris, I got some sushi for you. <laughs> Chris. Yep. Do you want to take a ride in a rickshaw? No. Well, that's another thing you can do here in Asakusa. There are a ton of rickshaw pullers, riders. What do you call them? I'm not doing it because um, I feel you weird. Look like an asshole when you do it. Uh, I don't know. I don't feel that passionately about it. I just feel weird. I, I don't know what to do at a moment when someone's putting in a ton of effort to pull my ass. Take a walk along the Sumida River. There are parks, people exercising, um, cafes, good views of the Sky Tree Tower, the Asahi Building, even some art installations. The Tokyo Sky Tree 
Lee Temple Galleria, floor 445. I judge buildings by their in elevator entertainment. I honestly thought this one was going to be better. Go up Tokyo Sky Tree. It's the second tallest building in the world and the first tallest tower in the world. Pick a nice day because if it's too cloudy you won't see much. But you can see all of Tokyo around it and Tokyo is huge. You really like can't can't wrap your head around it. It's crazy huge. Thanks for watching this video. If you liked it, leave us a thumbs up and please let us know what else would be useful. If you're planning a trip to Japan, let us know how we can help you in doing so. Bye bye.